Well, I'm back at home now and I've cleaned the teeth and got them all ready to be put away. Uh, I just wanted to show you the different teeth for the different layers. This layer, right, teeth on the left side here, the colored teeth, the darker teeth, they came from the red layer uh, with different minerals and it's giving it a, a little bit different color of the teeth. They're darker and have more color to them. Whereas over on the right hand side, this came from the green layer, a lot harder layer, and the teeth are, seem to be more white or uh, uh, a, a blonde color. Um, and I think it's because the layer is so hard but not as much mineral is leaching through, so you get less color. I uh, seem to like the red layer a lot better, seems to give better colors. And uh, on this trip I got about 60 teeth. Um, Got a bunch of hooked tooth, uh, you know, some decent sized hooks, nothing huge, but nice. Uh, then below it, I did get a couple of short fin makos, the Isaris Desiree. There was one real big one right there, and sometimes they confuse that with a, a Paratutus Benedini, but uh, once you see a Benedini, you, you'll know the difference. Uh, there's a couple giant mako teeth, um, have uh, a vertebrae. A little ear bone there, then there's a tooth from a ray. Uh, come on down a little bit more, and then some various other smaller teeth you'll see here. But a lot of hook tooth, a lot of hook tooth. And then I got a little row of tiger shark teeth. And then on the green layer, a few nice hooks. Again, must have been a hook tooth day. And then gray shark and all the various smaller sharks along with the little teeth from the hooks. Now I found something really interesting up there this time. I found these uh, crystals. And they're like in a concretion and just beautiful purple amethyst colors. Uh, I'm trying to get a good picture here for you if I can. And... Uh, Something I'm going to start looking for more and more. Uh, I've never seen them so pretty on this one spot. So, looks like a, just looks like a regular concretion that split in half. And I don't know if it's because it was sitting out so long in the salt water with, but all these crystals grew on it. Beautiful little shapes. I'll see if I can get a little bit. All different colors of real pretty so I'm going to be concentrating on a little of those see if what I can find I know I did talk to a couple old-timers and they said guys were coming up here explicitly to find the, the crystals so I'm gonna keep my eyes open a little more and if I do any better uh, I will uh, put it in a little video here but anyway there we go there's the green layer there's a red layer. Red layer seems to be more colorful. And there's a couple other different little layers out there too you gotta watch out for. But you'll get different colored teeth and it's the different minerals that are soaking in. So uh, basically that's what we got going. My new hottest thing though are these right here. So I'm gonna see if I can make some more of these amethyst crystals. If I found these there's gotta be better ones up there. And uh, I haven't found many. I've been doing this for about 15 years now. So anyway, good luck and uh, hope you find a big one.